Hi, and welcome back to Bedecked. I am Rebecca and Brian, but you can call me Beck. Today I'm in casual attire because I haven't left the house today, and when I get to the theme of today's episode, it kind of, in a weird way, ties into this attire, so I'm just gonna get right into it and tell you all about my idea for today's episode. I was in a conversation with my friend Becky, who I've mentioned in a couple previous episodes, most recently in the Vegas episode. And when we went out for my birthday, um, our other friend Lindsay had the idea, we went to see a concert and our friend Lindsay had the idea of doing like coordinating, of coordinating our outfits. So I told her what I was going to wear that day. I had just bought a <laughs> Diane von Furstenberg dress from Fifth Main, a designer resale boutique um, nearby. And I said, well, I'm gonna wear this. So do with that what you will. <laughs> and Lindsay said, well, I'm not gonna wear a dress, but I have pink and black. And Becky was like, I don't have any pink. I'm not going to get any pink, but I can wear a black dress. So that kind of stemmed the episode idea for today. What would it be like to dress in black for an entire week. What I wanna see is like how I feel. Do I feel like not like myself if I dress in black for too many days? Are people gonna react differently? I have a funny feeling that someone's going to say something, but um, we'll see. So anyway, I'm just kind of in some casual attire right now because I'm gonna be changing into some black outfits. Um, and the reason it's kind of on theme is because I mentioned I got this idea from my friend Becky and this is kind of our, um, this is our uniform for when we go out on Thursday nights to our local hang. Uh, we wear phase three brewing attire. <laughs> on Thursdays we wear phase three. So kind of random, but I happen to already have this sweatshirt on and I'm like, okay, maybe I'll, I'll go get an outfit together and I'll start recording. And I'm like, you know what? Um, I'm just gonna wear this for the video because I'm gonna go change into a lot of black stuff in a second. And this is an homage to Becky anyway. So anyway, I'm gonna try on, let's see, I think I'll start tomorrow. So this is, as I'm recording, this is a Saturday. Uh, I have brunch plans and then watching my daughter dance tomorrow. So I will start there and I have enough black pants, just enough black pants to last me through the week for four work days of pants. Two jeans, two black dress pants. And then on Friday, I will wear a dress as I always do. And I have a few black dresses to choose from. So that is the plan. I'm gonna pre-plan these outfits and show them to you now because I get ready for work really early and have busy nights. So there's no way I'm gonna have time. <clears throat> I'm gonna have time to do a full outfit thing every day but I will try to film my reactions um, a little bit each day to kind of tell you how it's going and how I'm feeling and how people are reacting. Um, and when I was thinking about this episode, I'm like, well, you know, with the popularity of Wednesday right now, I think people are feeling the black looks right now. I'm not gonna go full emo or full goth. I'm gonna still stay me, <laughs> as me as I can, but um, in black. So let's see what I can come up with. We're gonna start with, we're gonna start with Sunday. I'm thinking for Sunday brunch, my Spanx uh, faux leather leggings and this Jane Austen uh, shirt that I have that has, we are all fools in love. And then a quote from one of the Jane Austen books on the back. I don't remember whether it's Pride or Prejudice or Emma or Sense and Sensibility. I do not remember. But this is what I'm thinking for brunch. I kind of want something else. I should probably just like start planning my shoes too. Hey, these I wore someplace muddy, so I gotta clean these off by tomorrow. Where was I? Oh, yeah, I was at a farm. Yeah, so this looks good. And then I think I need, it needed something. So maybe a hat, maybe a hat. Could do a hat. <laughs> I don't hate it, I don't hate it. I, f 
I might wear a longer tank top under this actually to kind of cover my bum a little for those people who believe leggings aren't pants. Uh, I do have a long black tank top that'll that'll sufficiently cover so I will wear that tomorrow but yeah I like this look for brunch I think it's fun all right so now we got to start thinking work outfits it's gonna be so much fun I'm already nervous I'm gonna try I had one idea with my wide leg pants so I'm gonna try that first I, in theory I like the idea of wearing cardigans as tops now that's kind of the thing now without anything underneath um this one is too low to do that and ideally i would have loved to have like a black lace cami to the point where i almost kind of want to go out and buy one which is not the point of this exercise at all but i really think this would benefit from a white lace cami right now i have on the sequin top underneath but i'm not loving it it's okay though it definitely needed that little bit of visual interest so the sequin top kind of does that so i do like this cardigan tucked into these pants my wide leg there's no good way to show you this whole outfit so <laughs> i think i will i will probably take like mirror selfies when i have these all down but um for now this is what you get I'm not entirely sold on this look because I don't like how it's all tight. Ideally, I would have like a bigger, looser um, blazer, but I don't think I have one that's all black. I have a blue one that would work. And I don't think my husband has one either. I'll have to look. I don't think I have one though. So this isn't bad though. I mean, in theory, I like it. It's just not totally modern with it all being so fitted. It's cute, and I mean, I'm and I went with like maybe the boots are. Uh, bridge too far too but I went with knee-high boots over these jeans so it's not the most modern thing but at this point I kind of gotta work with what I have this is where the challenge comes in I need something black to go over this or I'm going to freeze it's not that warm here so I gotta find <laughs> this is a lot of black this is a lot of black if no one has commented up until this point I feel like they will comment for this one. I don't know though, in a way it kind of looks like a jumpsuit, which I don't hate. So I'm gonna wear these um, Prada boots that I got also in a previous episode um, under this. And if I really kind of emphasize the jumpsuit idea, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I need something to go over this. I seriously don't know what, what to wear over this. I like the look of this. I just know I'm gonna freeze and I don't I don't have anything else black and long sleeve that could go over it so I'm gonna have to think about that I'm gonna think about that and report back on this outfit as much as I love that black button-up uh, that I just had on I don't think it's gonna work for the weather so I don't know I may just do like go turtleneck and do full French girl or something like that but all right so this is the skinny pants and the kind of dressy sheer sleeve top kind of want to try this with a vest too just to add some more visual interest I, I've done it up I've done an outfit like this before but without a black shirt underneath and it was okay this is a lot of black I don't think it works with the vest the funny thing is the black, the vest blends in so much you can't really tell if it's working or not. Um, it just looks like another, another layer. So maybe it does add a little bit of dimension to the outfit. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go with the vest or not. I think by the time I get to this outfit, whatever day that will be, it will just be the shirt and the pants. Just so 
you know I'm not being too weird and out out of the norm with it so I don't know I'll report back okay so how is the black going so far it's Monday after work and I've gotten a few comments so far so Sunday I met up with two different friends separately and they both said I looked great and they liked my hat so that outfit was a win and then today oh but when I got home Sunday from my social outings my eight-year-old <laughs> asked me why I was in all black and she said she didn't like it so not a fan and then today um, my friend, actually same from his friend as yesterday, I said it looked like I was ready to go out someplace, probably because of the sequins, my top, sequins, sequins. I liked the trim of sequins, so I thought it was cute. Uh, by the way, I'm also wearing a black jacket and carrying a black purse, that's kind of funny. But anyway, and then later when she saw my black nails, <laughs> she... Um, asked if I was feeling very introspective today with all my black. So, wait till she sees the rest of the week. Um, I, I think I got my two best outfits out of the way early in the week. I like my Friday outfit, but I'm not super confident with the outfits the rest of the week. So, although I really like my outfit today and felt comfortable with it, I think my discomfort with these black outfits are going to start to show. I'll report back though. So my daughter couldn't decide what to wear today, so she decided to join me for all black week. Got a little black t-shirt, black leggings, and a cute little black jacket. Which of course you can't see the details because it's all black! It happened as I suspected it would. The jig is up. People called me on wearing um, black twice. Uh, someone asked if I was in mourning. Um, I got called emo, <laughs> all in a good-natured sense. But um, and two people asked if I was gonna wear black all week. The answer is yes. So it's not a secret anymore. Uh, most of the people on my team now have now figured out that I am going to be wearing black all week. But I did get a comment that I looked good in black, which I don't think is the case, but it does add a bit of sophistication and emo-ness. That's cool too. <laughs> oh, also my daughter's friend asked if she was a spy, which is pretty funny. <laughs> All right. So no new comments today, other than the fact that I noticed I'm, I was a lot snarkier this week for some reason. And Things aren't quite turning out like I want them to, so I don't think I can really blame the all black for that necessarily, but I'm tempted to. <laughs> so anyway, three more days of all black and um, I'll keep it chugging. I still think I'm going to try to wear short sleeves tomorrow, but maybe I'll try to find, not that I wanted to buy new clothes for this challenge, but maybe I'll try to find another cardigan or jacket or something to go over it. Otherwise, I'll either freeze or wear a turtleneck tomorrow. We'll see. Okay, so it's Thursday. I got a couple more comments today about my black outfits. This one was for, from a coworker who sits right next to me. When I walked in, she's like, Black, what's going on? So I told her what was going on. And then later in the day, she started singing uh, Miss Mary Mack, all dressed in black. So that was lovely. But I'm, I, I really, I did not like my outfit planning it, but I actually did end up really liking this outfit today. And throughout the week, I've had moments of feeling like sophisticated and artistic. So there definitely is a place for all black outfits. And I forgot to say this earlier in the week, but I ran into a friend who I haven't seen in a while. And she said, after we got done saying hi, she's like, you look great. Why don't I ever look like that? So that was a nice compliment too. I think the vest really made the look today. Um, I, I held on to the vest for years because I had a feeling, even when it went out of style, that a suiting vest would be back. And it is! Vests are back this year, so I was really happy with this look. I still do not like a straight leg pant on me, 
but it worked with this outfit. I have completed my work week in black. <clears throat> Uh, this turned out to be another outfit I really enjoyed. We got um, maybe a little less than a foot of snow, somewhere between half a foot and a foot of snow. So I had to wear winter boots walking into work and then change into black boots. And um, it's dress Friday and it's cold out so I wore tights and my dog jumped up on me. I think it's her fault. Anyway, I got to run in my tights, which is too bad because these are like super comfortable tights and you don't find those every day and I don't remember what the brand is because it doesn't say so that's too bad um, I have to get new tights but anyway I want to do one more day of black tomorrow we're going out for my husband's birthday so I have no idea what I'm gonna wear because I was just planning on lounging around in workout clothes and I forgot this was happening so I gotta pull something together. I was considering just wearing my favorite jeans, which are blue and maybe a black top, but I'm gonna try to do one more day of black. I'll report back. Okay, so that's it for my all black social experiment. I'm recording this outro before I recorded the results, so I'm not entirely sure how it went yet, but I have a sneaking suspicion of how it's going to go, so we'll see if I'm right. Just creating the outfits, it seems like with black jeans it's easier because there's more variation in texture and color, but like when it's these black work pants with these black kind of work appropriate shirts, <laughs> you really need the difference in texture to make it not seem like some sort of a uniform. I am definitely not opposed to dressing in all black, but um, maybe just with jeans. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode of The Decked. Tune in next week for whatever topic or book I decide to deck out next. Bye.